Hello and welcome to Biology Explained. Today we're going to be looking at the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells as part of the GCSE Biology Revision Series. Organisms can either be prokaryotes or eukaryotes. All living things are made of cells and these cells can either be prokaryotic or eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells are the kind of more complicated cells which include a lot more cell structures within them and these include all animal and plant cells. Meanwhile, prokaryotic cells are much simpler and also smaller, like bacteria. You call a eukaryote an organism which is made up of eukaryotic cells, and a prokaryote is a prokaryotic cell, such as a single-celled organism like a bacteria. Now, plant and animal cells are both eukaryotes, but they do have some similarities and differences between them. And this is because they have slightly different subcellular structures, which are the small little structures found within the cell. Most animal cells have the following subcellular structures. This includes the nucleus, which contains the genetic information that controls the activity of the cell, and this is bound within its own membrane. The cytoplasm, which is a jelly-like substance uh, where chemical reactions happen, and it also contains enzymes which facilitate these chemical reactions. And this is just found outside of the nucleus, but within the cell membrane. And then you also have the cell membrane, which holds the cell together and controls what goes in and out of the cell. And also mitochondria, i.e. the powerhouses of the cell. This is where most of the reactions for aerobic respiration take place, uh, which allows the energy transfer between the cell uh, to allow reactions to occur. And also there's ribosomes, which proteins, where proteins are made in the cell. So those are all found in animal cells. Plant cells also have all those bits, but they also can have a cell wall, which is made of cellulose, which helps strengthen the cell, a permanent vacuole, which contains cell sap to uh, kind of control the um, rigidness of the cell. And it also contains chloroplasts, which is where photosynthesis occurs. So th those are the kind of differences between animal and plant cells, but they are both eukaryotic cells. Just a plant cell kind of has some more plant-specific items within it. Meanwhile, a prokaryote, such as a bacteria cell, is very small, much smaller than both animal and plant cells. And now, bacteria don't have chloroplasts or mitochondria, but they do contain cytoplasm, have a cell membrane, a cell wall, and they also contain a small ring of DNA called a plasmid, which is used for gene transfer, etc., which you'll learn later. They also don't really have a nucleus, which is a membrane-bound sac, basically, of genetic information. Instead, they just have a one big circular strand of genetic information, which just floats freely in the cytoplasm, which you can see in my diagram. It's the big orange curly whirly thing, and the plasmids are the small orange circles. And so it's a much simpler cell. It's much smaller, much simpler, uh, than the eukaryotic cells. So those are the two types of cells and rough overview of what you need to know. You need to know the base differences between animal and plant cells and also the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells in general. Thank you.